Through the years, we have looked for individuals in the metro community who have demonstrated outstanding leadership in their own right. And there was nobody that I came across in all of these years since I stepped down as CEO, which was in late 2011, who has been more reflective of the kind of leadership that we envisioned for this award than Marty Barron. Leadership isn't easy. If leadership was easy, anyone could do it. Leaders who really lead are people who understand that what they do isn't always popular, oftentimes isn't viewed as a good idea, but have the grit and the courage to do unpopular things when they have to be done, and that they do it for the right reason and take the high road. And I hope when people look at the word leadership, they understand that each year that the people we choose are leaders who lead. Well, I knew from a very early uh, stage that I wanted to get into journalism, I think as early as junior high school. Uh, my parents were immigrants to the United States. Uh, they were keenly interested in their new country. They were interested in what was happening around the world. We had a, a daily habit in the household. The newspaper arrived every morning. They read it. We watched the news at night, uh, local news at 6 o'clock, national news at 6.30, the NBC Huntley Brinkley report when that was on, and then Time Magazine every week. And so the news was just a part of our household, and I was keenly interested, and I think that's what motivated me to get into it. Over the course of my career, there have been a lot of big stories, and I think that I adhere to the core principles of our profession. I believe that we have to pursue and fulfill those purposes, that mission, all the time, no matter what, no matter what the obstacles are. As a journalist, we're constantly confronted with powerful institutions and powerful individuals, and they don't want stories printed. But if it's a story that we need to publish, then we're going to do so. And I'm determined to make sure that we publish what we should publish because I believe the public should know that information. And so I've been very committed, I believe, as most of my colleagues are, to the core mission of journalism. And that is to find the truth, to verify the information, and once we're confident of that, to then publish it. One thing that I recognize is that I don't have all the answers, but the people around me do have a lot of the answers. And so I'm very dependent on the people with whom I work. I think the best leaders are people who, who listen to others, take all that information into account, and then make the best possible decision. And that's how I, I try to operate, and I think that that's how the best leaders I know try to operate. Whatever industry you're in, whether it's healthcare or whether it's journalism, things are changing, and they're changing dramatically. And all of us have to adapt to that change and actually embrace that change if we're going to be successful.